Sex to me means love, it means the connection, it means you're making love. Teenagers like sex. <laughs> now that I've tasted the honey I want, I want the, uh, I want the hive. But... Girls want to have it, guys want to have it. You know, it's like, it's like Pokemon cards back in the day. When you're young, you're not having sex because you truly care about that person. I mean, when you're young, I don't think you truly know what love means yet. You did the one step up from <laughs> masturbation. It feels good, like, like physically, it feels really good. I totally have a tattoo on my butt. That's a sex. Another day flows by. Sex became a huge issue for me when I got into a serious relationship. It was something some of my friends did and was starting to do. It was something I didn't do. Almost all of my friends have sex. I actually had trouble finding virgins to interview. Like, I don't know. I don't think I'm ready, and I guess I was raised that way. Like, my mom was a virgin until she got with my dad, and my sister the same way, and it's just like, I don't know. I don't want to look like the family slot, you know? Yeah. Sex is like giving your entire self to someone, and I think that that someone has to be someone you actually love and someone who cares for you. There was a time when everybody, me and my friends, were all like, yeah, girls, yeah. We're dating like three girls a week and, you know, making out all over the place with all these chicks. And then after a while, I don't know, all my friends started to have sex, and I was like, man, this isn't, I don't know, I really don't want to have sex with these girls. For a while, I was totally ready to have sex, because I was with this guy who I'd been with for a while, and we ended up not doing it. Looking back, I kind of am happier about that. It just kind of gives me something to hold on to that some of my friends don't have anymore. Well, if you were with him for so long, what do you think kept you from doing it while you did think you wanted to? Um, <laughs> he kind of said no. <laughs> <laughs> I've always sort of wondered what my first time will be like. So instead of going out and just having sex, I live my life vicariously through my friends. My first time, I was 17, and it was with this girl. I knew her for a while, and we both agree, you know, it was time. So I invited her to my house. No, a girl that I knew, but I never hooked up with before, and. We were, are you recording right now? And we were drunk. And I'll say we were drunk, but I'm not gonna say anything about that. Are you recording right now? <laughs> you are such a bitch. It was a lot of trouble getting her there. <laughs> getting her in my house, like, first of all, someone's always home in my house. So I just had to, you know, wait for the perfect day when they were at work or something. And, you know, invited to my house, so. I invited her and we did it. I was at a party and I hooked up with a girl I never hooked up with before, went upstairs with her and had sex. I felt like it was time to take whatever we had a step further and I had sex. It wasn't awkward and it wasn't like, it didn't, whatever. It wasn't painful or whatever, I didn't have a bad experience, it was just, um, it was short. <laughs> The day that it was, it wasn't like that spectacular because it was just like really quick. And then I was just like, can we do it again? <laughs> I felt like kind of a part of me, you know, I gave away to somebody and I didn't like that feeling, you know? I was like, damn, you know, it's gone. It's never gonna come back, my virginity. But you know, it happened, it happened. It was good, whatever. When I tell people that I'm a virgin, a lot of the time they don't believe me. Why is it so difficult to believe a 17-year-old girl could be a virgin? You can't say that you're a virgin. I don't think Patricia is a virgin. I honestly don't she think so. Because I know for a fact every senior I know is not a virgin. You know, for me, I think I lost my virginity at the perfect age. I lost it at 16, and, you know, I'm, you know, pretty much the only reason I like that is because for the rest of my life, when people ask me, when did you lose your virginity, I'm going to be able to say 16. That just seems like the right age for me. Maybe that's because of the media, maybe that's because, you know, that's what movies tell you that you should, that's when you should lose your virginity, and when people who are, who, in the movies who aren't, who haven't lost their virginity yet, and they're past 16, those are the kids who are mostly, you know, 
the loser characters or whatever. And I don't know, I guess nobody really likes to be a loser, including I, so. Uh, yeah, I definitely feel that there's like a certain age where like once you hit that age, they're like, you haven't done it yet. The change between childhood and growing up comes so subtly. It seems like as we get older, our decisions in life become more and more difficult. Only a year or two ago, our biggest decisions were whether to kiss the boy on the cheek or not. Seems like things have certainly come a long way. I'm still a really big kid, and that's just who I am. But, yeah, I, don't, I definitely don't think my childhood has been destroyed by, you know, having sex and stuff. Love isn't like the most common thing in the world, and I know that it's hard to come by, and I know it could take a while for me to find somebody that I'm really in love with again, who I'm ready to have sex with. But I mean, I guess I am willing to wait for that just because I feel like that's how it should be. And I don't like, I just don't feel like I would be able to give myself up to just anyone. Man, now I really do wish I waited. Really? Yeah, well, I mean, you know, it felt pretty good. I mean, it's a good, good shirt. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, but I, there's definitely something missing there. When you have sex, you cut that, I, I realize what you lose. You lose your innocence. And. I mean, it's not like this really big thing. It is, but it isn't. Because, yeah, you're losing something, especially something like your whole childhood is basically like innocence. But, um, I don't know, you just kind of, that's how you grow. So what do you lose along with your virginity? Maybe you don't lose anything but the title of virgin. And it's really just in that title that your sense of youth and innocence is held. I don't really have a powerful objection to having sex before marriage or anything. I'm just curious as to how things will change for me after I do have sex. I guess I'm just waiting for the right guy to find out what that change is going to be.